So how to create a YOLO v4 configuration file called as YOLO v4 CFG that will contain information such as learning rate, saturation level, changing the brightness of images uh, during training, rotating images during training, as well as configurations related to uh, convolution neural network layers such as a type of activation functions, size and number of filters, number of strides, etc. Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create a configuration file that contains specific useful parameters that are used for training and testing purpose. If you have trained CNN models in the past, then you must be aware of these parameters such as learning rate, data augmentation for uh, creating flipped, scaled images, etc. We will be setting up those kinds of parameters in this configuration file for training and testing images before we train our custom object detection model. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel. A lot of times I have seen people appreciating the content but forgetting to subscribe due to immense excitement. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. If you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks and other related material by enrolling to this course on the AI University website. If you like to go through these courses on mobile devices then consider downloading the AI University Android app. All the courses are offered free on our website. So the configuration file we are going to create will be named as yolov4.cfg and as I mentioned earlier it will contain a lot of information in it. If you don't know about uh, convolutional neural network concepts like uh, strides, various uh, significance of various layers of convolutional neural network filters, etc., then watch this playlist. Now, this particular configuration file will also contain three YOLO layers at the last that will tell us about architecture of YOLO. We generally update uh, these layers with number of classes, convolutional layer filters. We can calculate the number of filters using this equation. So for YOLO, the calculation was 80 plus 5 multiplied by 3, which came as 255. This is because YOLO was uh, trained on uh, Coco dataset, which contained 80 classes. For our dataset, we will just change this number of classes. So in our case, it would come as 2 plus 5 multiplied by 3 because we have two classes, coffee and tea. So it will come as 21. So number of filters in our case would be 21. We also need to update certain other lines like max batches which will be calculated as number of classes multiplied by 2000. This parameter actually tells us about the total number of iterations for modern training. Parameter named as steps here represents the number of iterations post which learning rate will be multiplied by scale factor. Steps value is calculated as 80% and 90% of max batches. For our coffee and tree uh, image data set, the max match batches will be 2 multiplied by 2000 equals to 4000. Steps will be equal to 80% and 90% of 2000 which will come as 1600 and 1900 respectively. Next set of parameters to be updated are batch numbers and number of subdivisions. Batch number tells us about the number of images that will be processed in one batch during one iteration. If you have trained a CNN model during Keras or TensorFlow before, then you must be pretty much aware of these parameters and you must be knowing that model weights uh, gets updated after each iteration. Subdivision parameter represents number of mini batches in one batch. We require subdivision parameter to calculate the number of mini batches that GPU will process in one go. Subdivision parameter values are generally set differently for training and test data set. For testing, we set the batch and division value as one. We will create two separate configuration files, each for uh, training and test data set. So now let's create the two files YOLO v4 underscore train dot CFG and YOLO v4 underscore test dot CFG. So you could see that I have this darknet folder here, right? And this darknet folder was created as a part of downloading and installing the YOLO v4. 
So this folder got created when we uh, downloaded and installed the yellow v4 framework. So let's go inside this. You could see that there are various folders here. So we need to go inside cfg folder. So create two new files here with the name yolo v4 underscore train dot cfg and yolo v4 underscore test dot cfg. So right click on it. So right click here, click on more and then click on text editor and click on create new text file. So you can see here right now the name of this file is untitled.txt. So click here and then name it as yolo v4 underscore train dot cfg now open this existing yolo v4 dot csv file and open with text editor now copy the content of this file by pressing ctrl a and then ctrl c so copy the content and paste it here in the yolo v4 underscore train dot cfg file so you can see that the content is pasted here now we need to update the content of this yolo v4 underscore train dot cfg file according to the data set we have now let's update the following parameters for the batch parameter we will keep the value as 32 subdivision will be kept as 16 keep all other parameter values as default values for this block now move to the next block where we have max batches and steps parameter so this is the max batches change the value of max batch parameter to 4000 since we have two classes and 2 multiplied by 2000 is equals to 4000. So 4000 here. Now change the value of steps as 1600 and 1900 which is 80% and 90% of max batches value. So once we do that we need to make changes in the OYOLO and convolutional layer. So let's move down at the end to look at three YOLO layers. So we are at the last. So this is the first YOLO layer. Change the number of classes to Two, since we have two classes only coffee and tea then scroll up change the number of filters as 21 as we calculated using the formula and which came as 21 right then scroll up and locate another YOLO layer so then we have this YOLO layer change the number of classes to 2 and the corresponding filter value is 21 okay let's move up again and locate the third YOLO layer. So this is our third YOLO layer. Change the number of classes to two and the corresponding convolutional filter value is 21. And click on save to drive. You could see that the file with the name YOLO v4 underscore train dot cfg has been created here in the cfg folder of darknet. Let's close it. So now let's right click once again. Create one more uh, cfg file which will be named as yolo v4 underscore test dot cfg click on create new text file now again copy the content of yolo v4 dot cfg file from here and then paste the content let's name this file as yolo v4 underscore test dot cfg and click on save to drive now let's change the parameter values here so let's name it as test the batch value and subdivision value will be kept as one in case of test configuration file the value of max max batches will be kept as 4000 and the value of steps will be kept as 1600 and 1900 respectively as we did for training file a training configuration file now let's move at the last to change the yolo and convolutional layer values so here also number of classes for this yolo layer would be 2 the corresponding filter values for the convolutional layer is 21 this is for the first yolo layer then move up or scroll up locate the second yolo layer here also change the number of classes to 2 and the corresponding convolutional layer filter value will be kept as 21 then scroll up again for third yolo layer make the classes value as 2 again and the corresponding convolutional layer filter value was 21 now save the content of this file as well so you can click on save to drive again and you would see a yolo v4 
underscore test dot cfg file has also been created here now so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the yolo v4 series if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button in case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever i will release a new video so thanks for hanging out with me guys i will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you